Hey YouTube, I got this handy dandy smartwatch and now I don't have to press the button on the camera. So that's neat. Anyway, the reason I'm making this video is I see a lot of comments on my channel about have you watched this person on YouTube? Have you watched that person? Have you, you know, what do you think about this or that? You know, the way they do things and when I have time, I'll peruse their videos and watch a couple of them and kind of see what their style of bounty hunting is because that's what most of them are. They're people that record their bounties and put it out there for the YouTube viewers. And I've even had a couple of people, a couple of YouTube friends. I originally started this channel uh, doing prepping things and stuff like that. Uh, and it kind of turned into nothing but bell bonding after a while um, that have bigger channels and they're like man if you would do that your views would go up substantially you know people like seeing that stuff and I'm like I know it would and a couple of the channels that I'm talking about here they have hundreds of thousands if not over a million subscribers but you know what that's not what I do this for what I do this for is to educate people in a way that I have spent 17 years learning myself and I still learn every single day and those people that most people enjoy watching have a different style of bounty hunting than I do they have a different style of bell bonding than I do you know I I'm not gonna name any names but it really frustrates me when I watch some of these videos because a lot of these guys put themselves in dangerous situations unnecessarily. I'm surprised that they're not catching charges themselves for the way that they deal with people, the way they handle people. Uh, I watched one video of a guy that, you know, just loves tasing people. And that, you know what, all that's not necessary. I started in this business in 1999. And since 1999, I've been in a lot of different positions of authority, a lot of different jobs where people were either already arrested or were going to be arrested and I've dealt with a whole myriad of people. I've made a lot of mistakes. I have said things that I shouldn't have said. I've done things that I shouldn't have done. I've treated people in ways that I shouldn't have treated them. But you know, I, I like to think that I learned from my mistakes and I like to think that it makes me grow as a person and it makes me grow as a bondsman, makes me better at my job especially if I recognize those mistakes. And a lot of the people that get into this industry, unfortunately, get into it because they want to be badasses. And those are the guys that are going to wind up getting hurt or killed out there in the streets. This might make a couple people mad. I don't care. Uh, that's what this channel is about. This channel is about young agents that are coming into the field hopefully you're watching my videos and seeing that there's a different way to do this job there's a professional way to do this job there's been one universal truth that I've learned through all the jobs I've ever had in my life whether it was working at Burger King working at Domino's you know working as a bondsman working as a jailer one universal truth that I've learned is if you treat people with respect right out of the gate normally they're going to be more cooperative now there's that small percentage of people that it doesn't matter how much respect you treat them with it doesn't matter how much you try to work with them they're going to give you a hard time they're going to fight you they're going to call you every name under the sun but you know what don't let that obscure your judgment don't let that get the best of you I'm human too. I've let it get the best of me, but I try not to. Um, you gotta keep a level head doing this job. You've got to <clears throat> reel yourself in. If you don't have a partner that'll reel you in, which is really good to have. I have a, I have a really good team that works with me, and if they see me kind of getting out there, or I see them kind of getting out there, we reel each other in and say, hey bro, take a step back. You know we'll handle this you go to the car chill out because I mean come on I'm human I get mad I get my feelings hurt you know I want to lash back too and unfortunately when we're in the position that we're in it can be a little bit easier to lash back at somebody and feel like you're gonna get away with it when in reality 
they have the the person you're dealing with has just as much right to press charges on you as you have to take them to jail and it does happen guys and it's happening more and more and more I see news articles I see stuff on Facebook I get Google alerts bounty hunters arrested for assault bounty hunters arrested for kicking in the wrong door bounty hunters arrested for this arrested for that and the law enforcement um, community as a whole are getting sick of bounty hunters going out there like tactical miniature SWAT teams and roughing people up and bullying people and <laughs> just in general being assholes and they're starting to charge people in our industry they're starting to arrest people in our industry now sure maybe the defendant that we went and got was put in jail too and you know the original surety is no longer responsible for that bond but how many more bounty cases are you going to get from your local uh, bondsman when they look on the jail docket and there's the bounty hunter they use he's in there for assault or he's in there for trespassing or you know kidnapping or wrongful arrest or you know just there's a, a list this long of charges that we can be charged with if we get out there and act like fools. So the purpose of this channel isn't to get a million views or two million views. The purpose of this channel is to get the right people to view it and get them to think. Get out there, do the job, do it professionally, don't get hurt. That's my number one goal at the end of every day is to go home to my family uninjured and <laughs> alive that's it the money doesn't matter the thrill that I get doesn't matter you know whatever happened that night none of it matters when I walk through the door of my house and I walk through alive and well then nothing else matters and that's what it should be like for you guys all you guys getting into this business because you want to be badasses, you should probably find something else to do for a living. This industry doesn't have room for you anymore. It might have used to, but now it doesn't. Now you're looking at <laughs> the ACLU, NAACP, you know, you got federal prosecutors, local and state prosecutors breathing down our necks, just chomping at the bit to put us out of business and put us in jail. And every one of you guys that go out there acting like knuckleheads, getting arrested, shooting a place up, getting into a big altercation, you know, I watched one video, this bounty hunter and this guy he was after tearing this restaurant up. Just, he goes into this restaurant and he's wrestling this guy and there's people in there trying to eat and just, man, it was so avoidable. 90% of the videos that I watch that things go horribly wrong and people wind up dead is so avoidable. Like it could have been done in such a different way. I've made two or three videos kind of ranting and venting about some of these uh, bounty hunters that are going out there and getting themselves or other people hurt and going to jail or winding up dead, but I don't publish them because I get very passionate and I get very, uh, I get very angry when I see stuff like that because in this industry, 90% of the people that we're after can always be caught again. They can always be found again. We found them the first time. They're not gonna drop off the map tomorrow. You know, if they're in a situation where it's gonna put other people in jeopardy or put you in jeopardy or even put them in jeopardy, Back off, do surveillance, watch where they go next, get them a different time, come back another day. There's no reason to get out there being a badass. Anyway, I'm kind of getting on a tangent now because my <laughs> feelings are getting the best of me, but that's why I do these videos. I do get some hate about it. I don't really care about all that. Uh, but I do get a lot of positive feedback too. I got an email in my email box yesterday that really touched me in my soft spot. Anyway, that's all for now. And remember, bell bonding isn't what we do. It's who we are.